wants to know what's it like being double teamed for the first time in your life. Coach. <laughs> Coach is a clown. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it's just all right. I'll, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I gotta say about that, but just, just, just learning to play through it, uh, trying to, trying, trying to read it and, and know uh, ways to better uh, help my team is, is what I'm focused on. Justin, kind of along those lines, I, I asked Coach that of all the college basketball games I've watched, I can't. You two are right up there as far as post players and your passing skills. You know, and I, I'm asking you how impressed have you been with Dwight? Coach basically said he went from someone that previously they, they hardly threw the ball into, and UTEP, he's getting double teamed, and he looked like a natural passing out of it. How, how good of a passer is Dwight, and how impressed are you with how much he's picked up on that? I mean, he, his ability to, you know, to recognize that double team and make the extra pass has been, you know, big for us because, you know, anytime you're getting doubled, someone's always open. And, um, you know, his, he stepped up and made big time passes, especially, you know, uh, for, for Tavion at the UTEP game. He, he's the reason Tavion hit a bunch of those shots in the second half because the double cracked down on uh, Dwight and he, he made the extra pass out of it to Tavion who, you know, hit some big time shots. So, I mean, you, you, you know, the shot get, you know, publicized, but, you know, the extra, the guy who makes that play, you know, is a big part of it, too. Dwight, are you expecting teams to keep playing you all the way that San Antonio plays? You know, pack it in, try to you know, double team you and Justin, and, you know, kind of dare dare your all scars to make shots? Yeah, I expect every team. Uh, you see the results of what happened the last uh, two games and, and how it was, you know, kind of like a little, a little struggle for us. Uh, I think teams are uh, taking notice of it, and, and they're going to continue to do it until uh, people step up and make shots. Justin, how much of you all as big guys kind of encourage your all shooters to, to keep pulling away and, and try to Just keep shooting. Try to, to hit one? I mean, shoot or shoot is a saying, and that's the truth. I mean, if you, it only, it's only going to go in if you keep shooting it. And uh, that's all you got to do. I mean, I've talk to those guys continuously and, you know, try to boost their confidence, tell them to get in the gym, get extra shots in. It's just, that's a big part of shooting is, you know, everybody, you, you look on TV, I've seen Steph Curry, supposed to be the best shooter to ever shoot, go 0 for 10 from 3, you know, it happens. Um, sometimes it just doesn't go in, but you got you to gotta keep shooting. You, you can't stop. That's the, that's the worst thing you can do as a shooter, stop shooting, because, you know, not only does that uh, hurt you, but it hurts everyone around you because, you know, you can't lose, the biggest thing is confidence when shooting, you can't lose confidence. You got to keep letting it fly, and uh, it's eventually going to go in. Boy, what's the, what's the defensive game plan against Delph? Really good uh, senior senior center. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll go with scout and, and coach. Uh, coach give us a game plan on that, and, and and we should work on it and and do it in the, in the game tomorrow. Dwight. Uh, to, to, to piggyback on your answer, which other players are using, which is a compliment to you, that next game is the most important game. All right. And, and you guys have put yourself in position to do something special late in the season. You have a long ways to go. And so what does it mean, here we are February 7th, that every game you're playing is an important game, and it's because you guys have put yourself there. What does that mean in your final year as a college basketball player? I mean, it's, it's great. We all we all look to to be champions, and all that. Uh, we just gotta take it one game at a time, and and not look at the at the end of the season worrying about tournament and worrying about the conference championship and all that stuff. We just gotta focus on today, right now, control what we can control, and we'd be alright. Justin, your senior one does the same thing, and again, I'm not asking you know, just the fact that today. You guys have put yourself in a position to, to have a chance to do some special things. What does that mean? You know, I think. You know, my, my grandpa always says no time like the present and I mean you got to take like Dwight said you know you take one day at a time and uh, you're you're blessed to be able to be in this position that you put yourself in with your team um, to be talked about as you know potentially an at-large team and everything like that but still at the end of the day we're, we're the guys in the locker room you know those that has to go out and take care of business um, we've, we've, we've put ourselves in this position but it doesn't mean anything unless we Take advantage of every day and um, every you know every step ahead of us. We got to go out and act like we we don't have that. You know we got to 
uh, like we, we've never been noticed or anything. You know, it's got to be we got to be the underdog. You got to play like you're the underdog every day, and um, you got to work like that. And then you know, whatever happens, happens. As long as you go out there, you know, I tell these guys all the time. You know, as long as that's if that's everything you got, then that's you know that's all you ask for because you know the the results are gonna eventually show if everybody's given you know to, to their full potential. Justin, I'm sure it's a very frustrated locker room after the game on Saturday. So where is this team at mentally heading into tomorrow night's game? I mean, I think they're pretty mentally locked in. If y'all would have watched practice yesterday, you would have you would have seen a pretty locked in team yesterday in practice. It was a uh, probably one of the best practices we've had since you know before leaving for the Bahamas in the early in the season. It was an intense, high up tempo practice. Guys getting after each other, um, guys getting on to each other. You know, it was a little bit of a hostile practice, but you know, it was the edge. You know, after we got done, everybody was like, "That's the type of practices we're gonna continue to have." And you know. Know, to get back locked in and get this back thing back rolling where we need it you know of course we were still winning some games you know we we beat Marshall here um, we, we you know we won a couple here and there on the road or whatever but you know it wasn't satisfying wins still we were in the locker room you know we won the game but everybody was like dang we should have won by this many points or something like that so it's just finding that edge and getting that edge back and I think we started off on the right foot yesterday with our uh, first practice being back. Dwight, um, I asked Coach about Mustafa and, uh, and, and Josh, and, and I, I asked him, does it seem like for them right now it's kind of like what you guys are going through in October and November? I mean, the, the euphoria has come off for them as far as getting to finally play. And I guess it's that battle as a teammate where you want to keep their spirits up, and at the same time, you guys need them. Do you know where I'm going with that question, Dwight, that, that, that you, you can kind of feel what they're going through? Yeah, I, I know. I mean, them coming back, I already, I already talked to them already. Like how it's gonna be back coming back, uh, getting, getting the, the player role and have everybody to trust them and, and being in the game and being comfortable playing. Because for some of them, the game might be going too fast, so they might not be used to the system and all that stuff. So it just, it, it just, it just takes time. It just takes time, and and we depend on them. And hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll come through and in these next couple of games and contribute uh, to us. Anything else for these guys?